wood, an amazing building material knows to the humanity forever. We used wood to build houses, ship and aeroplanes. But can we build drones from wood? Of course we can. The wooden drones are with us for as long as the drones themselves. Wood is cheap, wood is easy to work with and wood is surprisingly tough. So of course we can have wooden drones. I however decided to check how practical it is to have the, yeah, wooden X-Class drone. Okay, not really an X-Class, but still the powerful 10-inch propeller quadcopter. And you know what? This thing is cool. If I would have to describe my 10-inch freestyler with a single word, it would be scary. Because of two reasons. Number one is that it's absurdly fast, or at least it feels fast in the air. Yes, inertia makes this thing turn like a cow, but the rolls and the flips are just great. And the second reason is sound. <laughs> This thing sounds just incredible. Those 10 inch APC propellers with the powerful motors, the low grizzling noise, when you fly it, you know it delivers a lot of power. By the way, do me a favor, hit the like button and write in the comments on what you think about projects like that. Does it make any sense to build wooden drones or not really? Thanks. It means a lot and it helps to grow the channel. Of course, not perfect. On the HD footage you can see that this thing is vibrating quite a lot. Partially to the fact that I was using old and beaten up propellers, but the second reason is that the place where I installed the GoPro was, well, suboptimal. High on the 3D printed structure, this thing just had to vibrate and you can see it. Tuning was also pretty interesting because it turned out, although this thing has huge propellers and huge motors, it needs really quite a lot of the P gains to be stable in the air. D gains pretty normal, I gains pretty normal, P gains well at least twice as the defaults because what you see is with the P gains of around 100 on both roll and a pitch and the sound it makes oh yeah you know that this is something special Now the final question how practical it is unfortunately well it isn't just look what happened after the mild crash Done, broken arm, this thing will not fly again. Yeah, I know, I could just make a new arm, but decided that, well, this thing is really not practical. I'm flying this thing once a year, mostly to record the videos like this one, and I just don't have enough of the space to keep this drone alive. Cool project, but absolutely not practical at all. How about you? Have you ever built a wooden drone? Write in the comments and share some pictures if you can. If you would like to know more about experimental drones, here's the video for you. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!